My starter has been going strong for over a week now. And you can see on the inside, the bubbles look different than it did when it first began. They now look larger and under the surface rather than just tiny bubbles on the top. I'm about ready to give it its morning feeding. I'm going to first stir up my starter. And then I'm going to put all of it into another bowl and I'm gonna weigh it to see how much I have. I only wanna put back in about four ounces. of starter in my jar. I'm going to put back four ounces along with a half a cup of lukewarm water and a scant one cup of flour. starter that I have, there are a number of recipes that you can use. One of my favorites was trying out sourdough crackers. I'm going to mix in my water first. I've found that it sometimes makes it easier to mix in the flour afterwards. Because I've been feeding my starter and maintaining it for about two weeks now, I should see a pretty dramatic rise in about four to six hours. In order to track how much it rises, I'm going to put my elastic band on right at the level where the sourdough is currently. Okay, and we'll check back in a few hours. With the sourdough starter discard, I'd like to make sourdough crackers. However, the recipe calls for one cup of sourdough starter and I have about half of that. So what I can do is instead of throwing out this starter, you can either put it in the refrigerator until you discard again, or you can actually feed this one as well and set it aside for baking. My starter has been sitting for four hours now, and you can see it's almost doubled in size. If you look inside, you can see the bubbles there. I'm gonna let it keep going for a little bit longer. It has now been five hours since I fed my sourdough starter, and it has surpassed the doubling point. You can see inside there how nice it looks. And this means that it is ripe and ready to be used in recipes that call for a ripe sourdough starter or a fed sourdough starter. If you're not ready to bake with it yet, what I would suggest is waiting until the 12 hour mark, taking out all but four ounces, feed it like we did before, let it sit out for two hours, and then you can go cover it up and put it into the refrigerator. Once your starter goes into the refrigerator, it becomes much more low maintenance. At this point, you only have to take it out and feed it once a week. In my case, I'm going to take out the discard, and I'm going to add it to my previous discard so that I get enough for one cup to make the sourdough crackers recipe on King Arthur flour.
Remember that your sourdough starter can live infinitely. Just make sure that when you are using it in a recipe, you don't use all of it unless you are done with your sourdough starter and don't want to continue. I hope that you've been inspired by watching Gary grow over these last couple weeks into an amazing starter that I now can use for so many recipes. I can make crackers, bread, coffee cake, pretzels, even pumpkin bread using this sourdough starter. There are tons of recipes on King Arthur flour. I can't wait to see your starters.